Hello, my name is Simon, and welcome to the Retro News Roundup. Not much for this section, apart from the sad story that Seattle-based retro gaming shop Pink Gorilla Games was subjected to armed robbery last month, forcing the owners to consider relocating after 17 years. The store had been burgled back in July as well. Despite this horrible luck, hopefully it'll find a way to survive moving forward, especially with retro game shops becoming a rare sight nowadays. The Switch and PS4 both received a quartet of arcade archive titles last month, namely Darius, Toy Pop, Ordine, and Tuki Densho Angel Eyes. Meanwhile, the PS5 finally got a port of the rather good Wonder Boy The Dragon's Trap remake. Steam also received two much-loved sports titles out of the blue, Actua Soccer 2 and Actua Tennis. Finally, this may not strictly belong here, but Atari Mania landed on Switch and PC in October. It's a WarioWare style experience involving Atari titles. I've still not got my analog pocket, but there was some good news about the system revealed last month. Namely, that the retro cartridge playing handheld will add a core to allow us to play Pokemon minigames, which means that you'll finally be able to try out the best version of Tetris. Yep, I said it. Don't at me. Let's start this section with the Commodore 64, which received seven new titles in October. Captain Ishtar, The Conia Project, Outpost, Weather War 3, Flappy Knight, Tenabra 2, and Santa Claus. The MSX wasn't too far behind thanks to the dev competition that's still rumbling on, with six games out. Sacred Valley, The Circus Mystery, Lily's Saga, The Stories of Evergreen, Balloon Buster, Diced, and My Sacred Place. The ZX Spectrum was lagging behind with only a trio of new releases, Transylvanian Castle 3, Yokai Monk, and Mabus Mania Deluxe. Next two games for the Amiga, Minky and Aquabis. There was a pair of Atari XL XE titles that came out in October too, Dracula Story and Bruce Lee, Return of Fury. Next Hero triumphed on the VIC-20, Hercules Redux lauded it over the Commodore 16 plus 4, and 1942 flew onto the Atari 7800. Then to round off things, two multi-format releases. The first, Ramiro El Vampiro 3 for the ZX Spectrum and Commodore 64. The second was Guntus, which arrived on the Amstrad, MSX, SMC, ZX Spectrum, Commodore 64, and a few more systems besides. One release for this segment, but it's a compilation of four ZX Spectrum titles that developer Cosmian wrote back in 1983, but they sadly never found a publisher. The lucky four that can now finally see the light of day are Robon 2, QOG, Weedy, and Hyperzax. Three English language fan translations were completed last month, two for Dreamcast titles. Run equal Dim as Black Soul, and Puyo Puyo N. The third game? R question mark MJ the Mystery Hospital on the PlayStation. So yes, that's all for this episode. Thanks so much for watching, and please do let me know if you have any thoughts on anything discussed in this month's episode. Also, please do like, share, subscribe, and stay safe. This is as far as you go, Decepticons!